Welcome back everyone to another video and we have a new Android 7 build for the Raspberry Pi 3 and this build is based on the Android 7.1 source code. It's also a full fledged tablet build instead of a modified TV one. So first of all, as you can notice, we have the navigation buttons at the bottom. Now a lot of people did request for these. So I made it a point that I had them on the release build. Uh, now, uh, of course, the second thing there is, is that the launcher is more closely related to that of the Google Pixel launcher. And that is because the Android source was updated to include that launcher as launcher three. So this is uh, officially Android's new launcher. Uh, I didn't go ahead and port any other launcher to put it in this build. This build is completely AOSP. Uh, and not much has been modified. In earlier Nougat build, the settings app wasn't working. In this one, it works fine and I can just navigate through it. No problems anywhere in the build. This is also the first build since Peter created Android RPI GitHub page. So now the and Android on Raspberry Pi project has its own GitHub page. Earlier we were working from Peter's own uh, GitHub page. Now we have shifted it. And we have three main contributors, including, of course, Peter, who maintains everything uh, and does all the main work. Uh, Igor uh, is the one working on the Android RT or real time builds. Uh, and he has his own project and he also chips in uh, from time to time. And then, of course, uh, me. So over there, we also have a separate branch for Android tablet. This is where this uh, build comes from. And the main Nougat branch will remain an Android TV branch for, for now. And um, yeah, so the Android tablet build is still uh, a bit under development. And this is what one, this is one of the first builds uh, from that branch. So I really hope you guys enjoy this build. Of course, as usual, download links will be in the description below simple.img file. All you have to do is flash using DD or WinDisk Imager 32 or Etcher onto your SD card, 8 gigabytes or larger. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.